Hello and welcome to this special edition of Head to Head on UA TV. I'm Tom Bell, we're at the Creative Ukraine Forum here in central Kiev, and I'm pleased to say, uh, joining us uh, right now to talk more about uh, creativity and how the EU is helping Ukraine in that sphere is Artur Djebal. He is the head of the political section at the delegation of the European Union in Ukraine. Hi Artur, thanks very much for uh, joining us. Hello. Um, so, can you tell us a bit more about um, how the European Union is involved in sort of encouraging this creativity in Ukraine? What sort of projects do you have? So, uh, <clears throat> thank you for the question. I've, I've, I, I think the European Union is heavily engaged in Ukraine in general, but also in terms of the, the projects. We are spending more than half billion hryvnias for this particular area. We have a number of uh, projects and programs. Mm. Uh, one of the most topical and recently launched is the House of Europe program, which uh, gives opportunity to young people, to people in Ukraine in general, to, uh, to use the, the, let's say, the, 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 the money program uh, to work in this area of digital culture, uh, ranging from exchange, cultural exchange, to um, support for the small and medium enterprises, uh, to any other project that they can create in their imagination and creativity. So uh, mm, we have other more targeted also programs which are uh, dedicated to, uh, to tourism, dedicated to uh, only to support of uh, enterprises as such in the sphere of culture and the sphere of di digital let's say, area. So uh, we think this is quite a comprehensive package uh, and these uh, projects can, uh, I hope, will be more and more known and popular in Ukraine. And we also make, uh, make an effort, to, let's say, to, uh, to popularize this project and to use the potential of Ukraine, of creativity of Ukraine, which is here to, to kind of to increase it and to, to, to make the country move forward also in this area. And that's true because Ukraine is a country where a lot of young people are technologically minded. Um, people are always on their smartphones wherever you go in the city, in, here in Kiev. So can you give an example, I know you mentioned a couple there, but um, what sort of creative projects um, are you involved in, in, in terms of, is it developing um, smartphones, uh, smartphone apps, or um, is it something to do with building the bridge between society and uh, culture? It's, it's both, of <coughs> it's uh, building bridges, so we have a dedicated uh, program uh, which even uh, is labeled, uh, let's say, cultural bridges, EU uh, bridges. So we are trying to, uh, let's say, work into in, in this direction, but we are also, as I mentioned, work very much to support any uh, new, uh, let's say, projects, new, new ideas in the sphere, so new, new small enterprises, small uh, startups that, uh, that are kind of developing the, this, the, the, the new technologies or the new ideas. Mm -hmm. And I would very much mirror what you have said. I think the Ukraine, uh, we can, uh, we can observe it uh, is, uh, has enormous potential in the sphere of digital. Uh, people are very much connected to what's happening in this sphere uh, in the world and uh, in Ukraine. And I think both European Union with our programs, institutions, money, and uh, Ukraine with uh, big creativity, dynamics, and, and let's say need for help can, can match very well together and can kind of cooperate on this. So, on, 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 in these particular issues and area. Yeah, and you, you said that you have a fund um, which um, is being used to help encourage this creativity among individuals and, and small businesses, that sort of thing. But um, how do you select your projects? Because I would imagine that you're inundated with uh, people who have an idea, um, it hasn't been done yet, and then they come to you. So how, what's the criteria for selecting these creative projects? You know, the, 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 the procedures for selecting projects are, I think, are kind of, the, the, the are common for, for, for any other area, you know, so uh, basically it depends very much on the, on the aim of the uh, project, on the requirements for the project, but also on, uh, on, on the very idea, how, how, how much we like we, the ideas. I don't know the details uh, personally very much because I'm not sitting in the commissions that select projects, but uh, all this can be found on, the, on our website, on the EU delegation website. And you can con contact also uh, our young people who are watching us. Uh, they can, through this website, they can easily get in touch with, uh, with the, the, the people who are, who are running the, the, these projects and then uh, take part in the competition. And 
check the details requirements and how the project is selected. Uh, as you know, the European Union, we, uh, we, have, uh, we, we pr prioritize very much the transparency, so all this uh, selection, let's say, of the project is very transparent, uh, based on the rules, and uh, this all can be found, found very and kind of, uh, they can learn easily how, how, how it works in this. Yeah. In this um, when we talk about creative Ukraine, um, I mean, you've, you're often in Ukraine yourself, um, what's your point of view on culture in Ukraine? Do you uh, see a lot of you know, different events or are you mostly based in Belgium and you go to different events there? Mm. I work right now in the, at the EU de delegation here in Kiev, so I stay permanently in Kiev. Uh, but before I, indeed, I work also in Belgium and I must say the, the, the cultural life here, also in terms of digital, is very, very dynamic. So. Uh, I think it, uh, it mirrors a bit the, the dynamics of the society, so people are very much involved and uh, a lot of uh, occurrences are happening and I think that also the creativity scene is, is, is very kind of interesting, very topical. You can argue also that uh, current top management of the country comes from this sphere to some extent, creativity sphere. So it also shows how much this particular part of uh, of economy, or, uh, of, uh, let's say, is important for the country and is kind of also, to some extent, uh, running the country. So uh, I'm very much, uh, let's say, appreciative of uh, how this sphere is developing in yeah. Ukraine. And, it's, uh, and I think it's interesting because even in Ukraine, there is the Ministry of Digital Transformation, which is uh, just a huge step, actually, for uh, Ukraine. Um, I wanted to ask you, um, I know we're running out of time, um, um, what uh, do you expect? Do you expect the funding to increase over the next few years in terms of the European Union's interest in creativity? And what sort of return, if any, do you expect? Mm. As, uh, as you might, might heard, the European Union uh, is, is, let's say, planning to increase, uh, let's say, efforts in terms of the digital uh, development of digital, uh, let's say, industry and digital creativity. So this is one of the priorities of the new, uh, let's say, new commission, new management of the European Union. Uh, and I think the programs, uh, both internal programs, but also external programs, will, will only grow in the future. Of course, digital is, is the future for all of us. It uh, can help us to uh, address uh, many challenges, internal and external, including in Ukraine. Uh, so uh, I, I definitely believe that the, 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 the projects and the the support will only grow, you know, uh, on this particular sphere, and uh, and also in these terms, I think Ukraine can, uh, while aligning uh, itself with Ukraine, uh, European Union legislation, acquis communautaire, and uh, getting closer to the EU, I think Ukraine can also benefit more from this particular, let's say, uh, uh, direction of the European Union. So uh, the European Union will move more to this sphere right now, and then Ukraine can easily kind of fit into it, and we can work together. Yeah. Often people think that digitalization is not profitable, but actually we've seen a trend, um, in, not just within the European Union, but all over the world, that actually uh, this this can be the case. So is is that a good case for actually bringing in more creativity? No, I think it's uh, already well known that digitalization is enormous potential and enormous, uh, let's say, uh, uh, area when you can, can earn money also, not only money, where, 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 you, where you can attract people, where you can, uh, uh, let's say, um, conduct the political campaigns or, uh, so I think this is very well known already and it's, uh, we see uh, in the world that uh, without digitalization, without being engaged heavily in, the, in this uh, development of the world, of humanity, I think we will, will only lose and I think uh, Europe is understanding this lesson and we are trying to adapt with this also new priorities. I think Ukraine is also very much adapting to this and as you mentioned uh, the, the new ministry of uh, let's say, uh, which is targeted to these issues is, is very much a good uh, let's say um, answer to this. We have also the uh, the plans of the of the cabinet of ministers and minister of cabinet of ministers of digitalizing all the administration here in the country and I think this all goes into this direction that we need to move from the 20th century society and state to, uh, to more 21st century which m where more most of the services is most of the, our actions happening in this virtual sphere so uh, we are very much looking forward into it for, yeah. for both Ukraine and the, and the EU. And a very short answer what's your favorite cultural thing to do in Kiev? 
culture things. I like going to the concerts, uh, not digital one, the normal, <laughs> the classical one. So uh, yeah, I like very much Ukrainian music. Uh. Well, that's very interesting. Thank you very much for uh, joining us today. That was Artur Jebal. He is the head of the political section at the delegation of the European Union in Ukraine. You've been watching a special edition of UATV's Head to Head. Stay tuned for more.